And for the past two nights, Israel has seen attempted sea incursions by Hamas militants into Israeli territory. In both cases, the attempts were thwarted after being spotted by surveillance units who dispatched troops to the area. We now go to I-24 News correspondent Danny Swibel, who is at the scene of last night's attempted infiltration. So yes, I'm here at Zikim Beach. This is where the five Hamas operatives tried to penetrate into Israel on Tuesday, and there were two reported Hamas terrorists who tried to make it here yesterday. Now, I spoke with the chairman of Zikim, the kibbutz, and he told me that in 500 meters behind us is where the kibbutz is located. So it would take Hamas operatives perhaps under two minutes to make it. The residents of the kibbutz were instructed to stay in their homes. They were told this morning that they could go about their day, but the case was not closed because there was not any confirmed reports that the two uh, terrorists were, in fact, killed. So we wait here for more information, and we will report to you when we find out more. Another noteworthy thing is that this is the first time artillery shots have been fired from Beis Zikim, the first since the war started a few days ago. And also, we see behind us the naval patrolling the seas, and we have reports, confirmed reports, that they have been firing in the direction of Gaza as well. Joining me now live is I-24 News correspondent Eli Ochenberg, who's standing by in Kibbutz Re'im near the Israel-Gaza border. Eli, while we've heard sirens in Tel Aviv, the south certainly has not been quiet. Where you are, tell us more about what's going on there. Well, as you can see behind me, besides the uh, intensive...